So today we will be doing mental verbs using the book Voices at Play. Please uh, get your book and stationery ready. Okay, uh, turn to page 256 of Voices at Play. Okay, uh, so we'll be looking at uh, action and mental verbs to show not tell. So let's cut down, go through. So personal recount need to show not tell. And uh, let's take a look at two examples. I bullied her. Can you see how the bullying is being done? No, you can't because uh, sentence A just tell you what happened, but you cannot visualize uh, what the action is. Let's take a look at uh, sentence B. Emboldened, I yanked the strap of her backpack and then pushed her. So uh, you notice the action verbs here, yanked, pushed. So these words, uh, yanked and pushed, describe how much force the first person narrator used. And it also tells you how aggressive, the vicious the actions were. So, um, this yank and push are known as action verbs. Action verbs tells you, uh, shows, not tell, shows you what has been done physically. Okay, how about mental verbs? Okay, let's change another color for the pen for mental verbs. So, um... Mental verbs, they express thoughts and emotions. Okay. So let's take a look at two examples here. Oh, I was about to make a mistake. B. Oh, I wish I had gone home, but I had a lesson to learn. So in example A, you don't really know what the mistake was. But from example B, okay, the word wish okay, tells you how badly the first person narrator wants to undo the damage that she ended up doing. So, uh, wish okay, is a kind of mental verb. So, what are the other examples of um, mental verb? Uh, such as, I thought she was quite pretty. Okay, so that showed her, uh, her thoughts. Okay, and another example, I watched her limp down the street. So you can see that uh, in your mind's eye, how Mary Lou left uh, walk, um, so not walked, but limped away, like hurt. Okay, so now it's your turn. Uh, find examples of action and mental verbs uh, in the text. Okay, well, let's do this together. So I'm using uh, green for action verbs, and I'm using blue for mental verbs. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, green. Okay. Green highlighter, right? Okay. I cap to the rear. Cap means like um, state, right? I saw Mrs. Pratchett. Okay. Action verb. Saw. Okay, so that is another one. Turned her head away for a couple of seconds to fish. Fish is like taking something. So, okay, turn is actually also an action verb. Turn away. Okay, I lifted the heavy glass lid of the golf stove and dropped. The mouse said, I replaced. The lid as silent as possible. My heart was stopping when I had gone all sweaty. So, uh, 
says so other action verbs include the heart thumping, right? The heart was thumping is an action verb. My hands had gone all sweaty is also action verb. Okay, uh, one word list, please. I heard. Uh, so it's saying I turned around so you can imagine that the uh, uh, first person narrator shifting his body 180 degrees. Okay, and saw Mrs. Pratchett holding right out the boot lace with in her filthy fingers. Okay, I don't want. All, all the lot of you chopping in here if only one is buying. She screamed at us. Okay, so again, this is uh, an action verb. Now beat it. Go on. Get out. As soon as we were outside, we broke into a run. So you can, you can imagine how is it that they are running. Okay, they're escaping from the sweet shop. Did you do it? They shouted at me. Of course I did. I said, well done you. Okay. Like said, it's like replied, cried, what super show. Okay, now we have been uh, highlighting many action verbs. So now, can you spot the mental verb? I felt like a hero. Okay, let's go back. Okay, I felt like a hero. Okay, uh, so that's it. Now let's use mental verbs. Okay, this is on page um, 261. Okay, so uh, just now we went through that and we know that Mental verbs show how someone feels and thinks and they're useful when you want to focus on feelings and thoughts rather than action. So these are some of the mental verbs. Mental verbs that express thoughts, okay? So mental verbs that express thoughts, thinking, so I'll write something next to think thoughts. And I will put like thinking question mark, okay? And some that express uh, so some mental verbs that express mental mental uh, express thoughts will be like agree, believe, forget, imagine, know, learn, promise, remember, surprise, think, understand, and uh, mental verbs that express uh, feelings. Okay, I'll put a heart shape here. Okay, they include. Appreciate, care, enjoy, hate, hope, like, love, my need, prefer, and wish. So this express feelings. So um, so some verbs, okay, that uh, such as see, feel, taste, smell, can be used to describe physical sensations, but they can also describe thoughts. Okay. Uh, and uh, feelings. So let's take a look uh, here. So I see what you mean here. Actually, means I understand what you mean. Something smells fishy here. Is it something that really, really uh, have a stench? Uh, in, in here, it, in this context, it means that I suspect that something is wrong. I have tasted defeat. It's not as Defeat tastes like, okay, it's not a phys physical um, uh, sense of taste, but it means uh, the experience of um, failure, okay? I feel wronged means that I think I've been wrong, okay? So, such verbs, okay, such as see, feel, taste, and smell can be used as uh, mental verbs as well, all right? So, like all mental verbs, um, sorry, I like all verbs, mental verbs can change their form to show tense. And the table below 
shows uh, examples of how regular or irregular verbs change their form depending on the particular tense shown. So if you recall uh, the previous lesson, we did simple past. Okay, and here you can notice what is the simple past. Okay, for the regular words such as remember, it's remembered, learned, learned. Okay, uh, need, needed, wish, wished, hate, hated. Okay, uh, quit. Okay, these are the irregular verbs. That means there's no such as quitted. It's just simple past is quit. Read. Okay, this in simple past is uh, read as read. Okay, orally you say read, but uh, the spelling still saying bet. There's no better. It's bet. Forget. Change this all into forgot. Think. Thought. Okay, change the spelling. Understand. Understood. Okay, no, and change the spelling to new. So um, you have to remember, okay, the spelling for these irregular verbs. Now, let's move on to page 263 to attempt the question. All right. So now... Let's do it together. Underline the mental verb in each sentence below. I regretted not apologizing to her. So, which one is the mental verb? Is it regretted or apologizing? Yes, it's regretted. I did not expect such a generous gift from you. So which one is the mental verb here? Expect. Okay. She knew it was going to be fun. So what are the verbs here? Knew and was going. But which one is the mental verb that shows uh, thoughts? It's new. They disliked outdoor activities. So obviously, okay, uh, the verb here is dislike, but what kind of mental verb is it? Is it a mental verb that shows thinking or is it a mental verb that shows feeling? Okay, it's a mental verb that shows feeling, disliked, okay? He considered all the possible possibilities before making the decision. So uh, there are two verbs here. Considered and making. Which one is the mental verb? Considered. That means he thought through all the possibilities before making the decision. So now we are done with this particular task A. Let's move to task B. Okay. So now we are at task B. Select the most appropriate mental verb for each blank. Okay, so it's a fill-in-the-blank kind of question. Uh, okay, here. Let's take a look at options first before we try. Cherish. Okay, what does cherish mean? Cherish means treasure. Let me just write this. Okay. Thought, disliked, agree, enjoy, felt. Okay, let's start. This is a very emotional recount. And I, what? Reading it as it made me cry a lot. So is it treasure, thought? I treasure reading it? No, I thought reading it. No, I dislike reading it. No, I agree reading it. I enjoyed reading it. Okay, as it made me cry a lot. Enjoy. It used that, so I'm put a tick. I was sad when the writer did not get to say goodbye to his best friend. I um, cherish said no. 
um, agree set, thought set, okay, dislike set, felt. I felt set. Okay, use that. I'll put a tick. Um, however, I want the writer reflection on his experience because it was well written. So I agree, but there's no with. I thought the writer's reflection. I dislike the writer's reflection. It was well written. It was well written. How can he dislike it? So I think it is, um, I thought. I, I want I with him. So just now, uh, this is to agree needs to be with. That we should always want our loved ones. So use that uh, cherished because it means uh, treasure our loved ones. So dislike is the only one that's not used. Okay. So we are done with task B as well. Uh, let's do a quick recap. So what we learned today, uh, we have uh, learned to use mental verbs to show how someone feels and thinks. And uh, mental verbs are useful when you want to focus on feelings and thoughts rather than actions. And uh, these are some of the examples of um, actually action words used as mental verbs here. So we have the see, we can see what it means, something smells fishy here, I've tasted the feet, I feel wrong. These are actually action verbs, but in this context, they're used as mental verbs. Okay, so that's all for today's lesson. I hope that um, you understand what are mental verbs and use them in your essay writing.